Okay, so the next thing I need to discuss is Qinglong Tanjua. It means the blue dragon extends his claws. It looks like this. <laughs> now that seems like a strange technique. A strange name for a technique, right? Because why claws? It's a kick. Well, the point is the dragon has four claws. His legs are claws also. So he's extending. And, and Tan means to test and spy. So he's testing with his palm and his foot. They're both claws clawing outwards. Now, how to kick the opponent with this? You're not trying to get your foot up between his legs. That's quite difficult to do at the best of times. But rather, you're kicking, thrusting into his groin from in front like that, using the toe of your boot. And you're going to be wearing shoes when you use these techniques, right? The end of your toes or the ball of your foot. It doesn't have to be super powerful. It just stabs in to his groin. But the important thing is you're not just kicking. If I just kick, he's gonna see it coming. And a lot of the time, you're not in the right place to make that kick anyway. So you use this hand to control him, to get him in the right place for the kick, right? So this hand slaps towards his face. As I slap towards his face, it's gonna cause some sort of reaction if I hit him or not. And that gets him in exactly the right place so I can kick him in the groin, okay? Right. I reach out, I feel for him, I test. This is Tanjua, testing spying claw. I find my range against his body and then kick with a lot of power, right? So I find the range and kick. But this can do a lot more than that. It can also strike with a lot of power. Use Pai Jang, which is slapping straight to the opponent's face, like this. <laughs> you slap to his face, causing him to go backwards and then kick. But it's even more than that. When you slap, it's not just a slap like this. You slap and then push the fingers inwards. If you just stab your fingers into someone, you're just going to break your fingers. But if you press your hand against them first and push your fingers in, you've got a lot more strength, you don't hurt your fingers. And so especially when we're in close with each other, maybe we're in close, I push my fingers, I press my palm against him and push my fingers into it. And that gets him into exactly the place I want to kick him, right? That moves him into exactly the range for my kick. So we can use it very close like this, pushing him back and kicking. We can use it far when more slapping towards his face just to get the kick all right so both parts are really important here if you imagine if i just slap his face if i want to poke his eyes for example and i try i'm just going to miss and hit something hard and break my fingers right but if i press my hand against him first and then drive my fingers like this into his eyes right that's what that's what that's what works for you so you press your hand into him and push his head all backwards use that power of the wrist extending over and then kick him so this is ching long tan can be used across your body it can be used forwards <clears throat> so a lot of the time, when for example you see a technique and I punch and kick, actually this technique is punching, hitting me in the face and then kicking him, all in one. Yep. It's, it's important to kick your foot because you train the palm to make it strong for this slapping motion. You also train your foot to get the right range. You should kick so that your, as you kick, your, your fingers go past the end of your foot, like that. Okay, and so you slap the end of your foot into your palm here. There's an alternative version of this technique, which is to use Shui Jiang. Shui Jiang is this technique, where I, I hit the back of my hand into his face. So from here, I kick like this, and you can train it by kicking your hand. So some old forms will actually do this instead, instead of Pai Jiao or Qinlong Tan Zhua, like this. 